In today's episode, it's the turn of archiving and backup solutions for Microsoft 365, as well as your on-premises solutions. I'm looking at TechArrow's storage optimizer, which is absolutely free, and content access, solutions that will save you a packet in cash. And they're really clever as well. Let's check them out. Greetings everyone, Andy here, so nice to see you and thanks very much for joining me. On today's episode, I thought I'd discuss with you archiving and backup solutions for Microsoft 365. Wait Andy, my data's in the cloud, I can't possibly require a backup solution. Well, for compliance reasons and also to defend against the likes of nasty ransomware attacks, it's definitely a good recommendation. And also the cost of storage is constantly increasing and we need to look at clever ways in order to save cash. So on today's episode, I'm going to talk about TechArrow's Storage Optimizer, an absolutely free tool that you can got to check out and you can run this on both your on-premises solution but also on your cloud solution as well and it will tell you how much you can potentially save by archiving your data to a third-party provider. Now uh, to, sh to follow on from that I'm also going to look at something called content access so it's TechArrow's archiving solution again it's super clever and you've got to see this demo it absolutely rocks. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would bump that subscribe button up there, ring that bell and come and join our great learning community. And if you have any questions uh, or comments about this session, of course, as always, just get them down below. So I think without any further ado, let's jump in and take a look first at Storage Optimizer and then we'll look at the awesome content access. Check it out. Okay, so I'm kicking off my demo here in Windows 11 and just to save time, I've gone ahead and downloaded Storage Optimizer from the TechArrow website. And you can imagine it's a pretty simple uh, process. So if you just fl uh, pop up to solutions and there is uh, details about the various uh, products there. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm just going to minimize that and to save time, as I said, I've already gone ahead and downloaded Storage Optimizer. So I'm just going to fire this up and let's take a look at it. OK, so here we can see Storage Optimizer. Let me just maximize this screen here. And what we can see is it basically says, hey, OK, we have some SharePoint data here. We've got OneDrive and we've also got some Microsoft Teams data as well. Now, um, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to analyze your data. So essentially, you're just going to select your data and click on next and off it will go and it will do an analysis for us. But the real magic happens here in the dashboard. And as you can see here, it's detected quite a lot of data. So it's showing me that at the moment we've got 1.53 terabytes of data, uh, shows me how many files that we've got and you can see that it also breaks down or breaks it down to the different types of files and I could drill into that and get more details on that if I wanted to. Now it, then it talks about the different archiving strategies and basically here on the right hand side you can see that we have got three options. So do you want to um, recommendation for opt, uh, minimal optimization, optimal or do you want to do aggressive? And as you can see here um, it has different options. So first of all, the minimal option here is it said it will offload files that are older than three years. So what does offload mean? It means it offloads it to archive. Now it may basically means that the file is still available to you, um, but all the user will see is just like a HTML representation of the file. But the clever thing is that you can then restore that file if you've got the to a tool like a, a restoration tool or the content um, access tool that I'm going to show you. So Storage Optimizer is fantastic at just doing the analysis 
of the files but you will need that obviously that other solution in order to archive and back up and restore the data so a storage optimizer as i said is a perfect solution totally free of charge but the idea is here you can see that even using the optimal one here so if i click on optimal look at that it shows me the potentially saved cost so by archiving my data i can not only save storage space but i can also save i mean those costs are potentially huge so you can see that depending on which solution that you choose so again the minimal one is files older than a year it will go off and it will archive them so optimal it talks about offload files older than three years but also remove previous versions of the files so you know we keep previous versions of sharepoint documents or onedrive for business documents but i mean let's face it if you've not accessed that file in three years there's not really a reason to keep things like previous versions of it so um, as you can see depending on the different solution um, it will talk about how much you can potentially save um, and again you can see the aggressive I mean that's nearly three thousand dollars in savings that's absolutely huge in savings so first of all you know irrespective of the archiving solution that you choose it's definitely going to save you a considerable amount of money on storage costs okay now um, as well as this you can see that it's actually connected to my environment um, obviously storage optimizer is absolutely free um, the next option is then it says okay do you want to clean it up now at the moment um, tech arrow are just about to release storage optimizer pro that really will go through those files it will clean those files up um, it will obviously uh, do provide reporting data you can offload details about the uh, files into things like an, uh, a CSV file uh, if you want so um, storage optimizer pro is coming soon so you can sign up for more details on that if you want to so um, what about the archiving and potential backup solutions then well in this demo what I want to do is I want to show you just a little bit of tech arrows archiving solution let's have a look at that so I'm kicking off in my Microsoft 365 portal here and I'm in my OneDrive for business and what I'm going to do is just to show you the power of content access I'm going to come to the landing site here and this is part of a team and you can see that we have a number of demo folders and files here so what content access does is once you've identified files that you want to archive and remember one of the reasons that we need to archive content is typically for compliance reasons or it could be to protect the data against potential nasty threats like ransomware and so on so uh, essentially in this case it's about offloading and saving our data so uh, again you can call this file you can call this folder anything that you want really but typically if I go into the folder you can see here's a couple of documents that I've got in here but the other documents are represented by a HTML file and uh, essentially the files are not gone is that the files are actually just archived and they're not stored in Microsoft 365 they're stored in an archiving solution so in this case the archiving solution or the product is tech arrows content access but it's really really super clever and it's quite unique so what we can do is I can click on to the link here and what this does is it brings up um, content access so here is the document and again we have a number of options so do I want to preview it do I want to download it do I want to open it in the portal or do you want to restore the original so uh, for example I might just want to do a quick preview so off I'll go and I'll let's say hey you know let's open this in a new tab now of course I'm not currently logged in so I need to log in 
I'm going to log into my Microsoft 365 account. So off it goes. And again, I'm authenticating as Alex. So it just logs me in. Now, of course, I'm already logged in and there we go. So it now provides us with the file itself. And you can see that if you look up here in the address, it's actually not stored in Microsoft 365. This is actually stored in our offsite archive. Now, at this point, I've got the option. Do I want to uh, download a copy of this or do I want to print a copy? And this is, as you can see, it's basically a PDF. But the clever thing is you can still copy, cut, copy and paste from this document. So that's really cool. So um, again, that's just one way that I can go ahead and preview that document. So again, it says, what do you want to do? Do you want to download a copy? So again, I can right click this and I can say, yep, yeah, I want to physically download a copy. And what this does is it actually downloads a copy to your machine. It doesn't restore the original in uh, Microsoft SharePoint. So what would happen if I want to actually restore the original? So again, here, I'm just going to right click. I'm going to uh, open this in a new tab. And it now then says, hey, OK, let's go into the portal here. And this time you can now see that it's actually restoring this document. Now, as you can appreciate, depending on the size of that document, uh, this can take a, a considerable amount of time. OK, so now you can see that that file has been completely restored. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go ahead and open this in SharePoint. And you can see it's now in the full PowerPoint format. And more importantly, you can see that it's now been restored to its original location. How cool is that? That is such a cool feature. And if I just go back to my SharePoint page, now there you go. You can see that that file has been completely restored. And that, my friends, is the power of content access. So one absolutely awesome feature of content access is the ability and how it fully integrates uh, into all things Microsoft 365. So 365, as you know, has got an amazing search feature. Um, and now it's that's further enhanced, of course, by the likes of Copilot. But I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in, you know, a particular document that, that you might be working on but you're not quite sure where the document is. So if I type in, let's say, DG2000, OK, um, you can see it brings up Word and PowerPoint documents. And sure enough, look, it's even picked up the documents that are stored in our archive. And although it still says it's in SharePoint, it's the document is not in SharePoint. It's just the shortcut. But if you want access to this document, then don't worry. You can simply click onto the document and again, content access will say, hey, what do you want to do? Do you want to preview it, download it, open it in a portal? Or do you want to go ahead and restore the original? Absolutely awesome. And one of the super cool things about content access is how it can integrate into both on-premises and cloud solutions. So here you can see it fully integrated into the likes of Microsoft Outlook. So I can simply come into the search feature in Outlook. I can search for some content. And again, once I've got that content, again, you can see it might contain an archived file. I can then simply say, hey, you know, I want to uh, get hold of that document and again you click onto the link and you will get exactly the same experience and you're then able to restore that document back so absolutely superb and an obvious question is Andy does it work on mobile devices well absolutely as you can see here there is a client here I go I simply go into my landing website here and once the files have loaded, of course, just wait for a second for this to load. And again, it, it doesn't really matter, you know, which client or which device you're using. Content access will still provide the same type of experience for the user. 
So you can see here that again, there is a document, it's a PowerPoint presentation. What do I want to do? Uh, and you can see instantly it's restoring that document or again, you can get that same preview as well. So you have the choice whether you want to restore it, whether you want to preview it and so on. So again, this uh, absolutely is an absolute must uh, for IT pros and for users. So finally, just a quick reminder of where you can try these products out. Uh, if you go to the Tech Arrow website, I'll put the links in below, so don't worry. You can go in here and you can try out Storage Optimizer for free. And of course, you can check out uh, tools like Content Access. And you, it's absolutely fantastic for both cloud and hybrid solutions. So there you have it, Storage Optimizer and Content Access from Tech Arrow. Two absolutely awesome products. And let's face it, Storage Optimizer doesn't cost you anything anyway. So it's definitely worth seeing how much you can save. It's really quite uh, eye-opening, actually. So when we think about both compliance reasons and the dangers of the likes of ransomware, it's super important that you have some kind of archiving and backup solution for your business. And in many cases, it's a compliance regulation. So I'll put the links down below in the video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I really appreciate you uh, joining me this week. Just a reminder, if you've not subscribed, bump that subscribe button up there, ring that bell and come and join my great learning community. All right, that's it for this time. You stay safe, I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.